Last time we were with our electrician, Alan Gallant, he had some bad news for us. Well, actually, he had nothing but bad news for us. Originally, he thought he was just going to have to wire the addition. But as it turns out, he now has to rewire the entire house because he found that it was full with some old and unsafe wiring. And he also has to change out the electrical service, and that means replacing all of this stuff hanging off the side of the house here. So, Al, you got quite a bit of work ahead of you. I do. Actually, actually I'm going to install a new 200 amp overhead service completely, which is going to take me five to six hours. All right. The problem is that this is an active job site, and more importantly, the homeowners are living in the building. Sure. So I can't just shut the power off. So I have to basically give them temporary power for this time. Okay. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. Well, Kevin, this is how I'm actually going to provide power for the job site and for the homeowners. I have a temporary power distribution box here. Sort of like a giant power strip for the job site. Correct. And what I do is I take this cord, I plug it into the distribution box. So this is going to feed power to the distribution box. What's going to feed power to this basically giant extension cord? I'm going to go connect this to the utility power at the building up above. Let me show you. So, Alan, uh, tell me what we're looking at here. Well, what you see is we have the power coming from the utility company across to the building. These guys right here? Correct. We have the two hot wires and the neutral. This is still hot? This is still hot. Okay. I'm going to now take these conductors that go down to the temporary power distribution box and connect them. So I'll connect one hot to here, the other hot to here, and then the neutral to here. So how do you shut this power down so you could make up this connection? We don't shut the power down. We make it up live. You do? We do. <laughs> All right. Well, have at it. So what are you cutting first? I'm going to cut the neutral conductor to get it out of the way. All right. Now I'm going to fold it up out of the way so it's out of my way. And now this is what? This is one of the hot wires I'm going to cut. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wincing, but OK. Then I'm going to tape up the end. So explain to me why you can cut a live wire. Because I'm standing on a fiberglass ladder, and I'm not going to give it a pass to ground. So by you not being grounded, there's no way to complete the electrical circuit? Correct. OK. And I'll cut the second one. And I notice that you're being very careful to keep all of the cut conductors away from each other. Correct. And we don't want them touching each other. That'd be really bad. I don't want them touching me either. No, we don't <laughs> want to touch you either. <laughs> and now I'll strip the end. And this is going to help you make the connection between these live wires and our temporary cord. Correct. <clears throat> Now we can make our first connection. And there's the neutral to our temporary wire. So now, what is this you're using? This, this is, is no a butt normal, splice. Uh, what is it called? A butt splice. So this is not just your uh, typical wire nut? No, no, it's a little more heavier grade. So I put it in. I crank down the nut. And I can take the neutral conductor from the power company, hook it on the other end of the butt splice, crank it down, making my nice tight connection. Now I've got one connection out of the three out of the way. So now we're on to the hot. Our first hot conductor. <laughs> you know what? No matter how many times you tell me that's safe, I would never touch that hot wire. It's not safe for you. You're on aluminum ladder. I'm on a fiberglass ladder. So yeah, no, don't touch it. Now that I've tightened down the two conductors that are attached with the butt splice. Two hot conductors. Two hot conductors. As you can see, the butt splice is not insulated. So now I have to actually put some tape on it to so make it insulated. This is like an exposed wire right it here. It is right now. All right. Now that I've finished insulating my butt splice, I can go on to my next hot conductor. Now that we have the temporary power coming down this cord here, mm -hmm. we can now get rid of this conduit here, which in turn feeds the meter which goes to the panel in the basement. So this conduit goes, and you're going to replace the meter as well? Correct. We're going to go from a 100 to a 200 amp service here, because while we're doing all the work, it was only a few hundred dollars in materials, and it made sense. OK, so we're going to get a new panel in the basement as well? Correct. And then by the end of the day, where are we going to be? I'm going to rehook back up, new service done. All right, nice job, Alan. Thank you.